During sex, I was crying and begging him to stop, but he didn't listen. Then he put his hand on my mouth like this. I couldn't breathe and I was crying, but he used me anyway. And I just cried. My ears is eight. The practice of child marriage is common in many parts of the world. It's not exclusive to any particular religion or society. Despite laws that forbid it, long-held cultural traditions die hard. If the current trend continues, more than 100 million more young girls will be married over the next decade. They were decorating my hands with knucks, but they didn't know they were going to marry me off. Then my mother came in and said, come on, my daughter. They were dressing me up and I was asking, where are you taking me? They just said, come, come. And then they performed the wedding. Child marriage occurs in more than 50 developing countries around the world and almost always results in the girls' removal from school. What families don't realize is that by curtailing girls' education, they're only perpetuating the cycle of poverty. Still, families do this for a number of reasons. Perhaps they can't afford to feed the rest of their children. It can create family alliances, and it often settles debts. Early marriage often results in abusive and even deadly consequences. As one Afghan policewoman told me, girls are routinely seen as family burdens, while their male counterparts are seen as kings. She was later murdered by the Taliban. I was seven, eight when I was engaged. My father and his father, they wanted to exchange their children. That time I thought of committing suicide. I was married when I was seven years old. I always say God is punishing me for something. One of the reasons that child marriage continues to prevail is the husband's family and the husband think that when they bring a girl into the family when she's so young, they can mold her to be exactly what they want her to be. And there is this sense that somehow the man is raising this child as his wife. A good wife should be respectful of the groom's family because she's now going to live with them. We don't call a woman beautiful by her looks, but by how nicely she takes care of her house and her husband. He was trying to have sex with me and I was crying and I kept struggling to free myself from him. He mocked me saying, where are you going to go? Then he used me. I was a woman exchanged for someone else's wrongdoing. My father-in-law and my husband, they were all with the Taliban. My father-in-law took me out of the house to a mountain. I thought they would kill me or behead me. I did not think he would cut my nose and my ears. The blood came over my eyes. I didn't know where the blood was coming from.
My friends were not getting married, and it was only me, so I didn't like that. So when I saw my parents preparing the feast, I knew they were definitely going to give me to a husband. So I escaped. I was about 14. The person who gave me a ride, he raped me while we were on our way here. So I was devastated. I regret coming here, and I wish I had stayed with my family because the person who raped me didn't use a condom. And he introduced me to a broker who got me this job as a prostitute. After 15 days, I found out I was pregnant. I started getting sick. I struggled as much as I could and worked as a prostitute until I was nine months pregnant. In some cultures, there's this myth that by marrying young virgins, AIDS will be cured. Many times they start having sex immediately because they have no control over the situation. The husband is the one who rules. Older men who have sex with younger girls tend to have sex more frequently. I don't know how children are made, but they get pregnant and they deliver a baby. They carry it inside their stomach. Then they deliver and it comes out a baby. I didn't want to get pregnant because I was very small. I wanted to wait until I am old enough. Is she worried that she won't make it through the birth? Sometimes I think I will die. Was she hopeful for any help? Was she worried about her future? I have never got help from anywhere until now. I don't know anyone who will help me. The good news is that rates of child marriage are going down. The problem is we don't want to wait 50 or 100 years for child marriage to disappear. We're talking about 100 million girls who will get married as children over the next decade. We want the change to occur faster. We were studying when my mother was still alive. But then she passed away and they don't allow me to go to school. Education is the single largest protective factor against child marriage. Girls don't want to be child brides. Childhood is not for cooking, cleaning, and having babies. It's for education and having friends and having fun. I pray that we will have better opportunities in the future. I pray that I'll be free from HIV when I'm tested. I also pray that the men who were very rude, who beat us, who use knives and guns to threaten us, that we will not have these men in our lives. I pray.